I'm working on this wisdom tooth and it's got an abscess. I previously opened up the abscess, took me like six hours, bled it out for five hours, and then I cut the process short and then it's coming in here, so that's not so good. So now the issue is going back to the abscess, opening it up again. What do I do? I'm working this corner. I'm using this instrument here. This is called an you know, O'Hare. Basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to open it up where I left off. I don't want to go all the way around the tooth because it's still traumatized. I just want to open up the smallest possible area that I can. So it makes sense to open up the hole. So what I'm doing is I'm going to the corner. I'm kind of working my way around the corner. I got this thing and then I'm kind of snapping it along the tooth. And I'm trying to stay close to the tooth because the nerve's right there on the other side. So as long as I go up on the tooth, I more or less avoid the nerve. And then I'm starting to get stuff to come out, so it's pretty obvious what's going to happen is I'm going to be breaking into this abscess fairly soon. And when I do that, more or less, all hell is going to break loose. But that's very positive because it's the stuff that's coming out. And then I have to bleed it out until it stops bleeding out. That's how it works. No stopping. That was my mistake of horror. Oh, and there's no guarantee that it's going to start to bleed out. But I'm real confident what's going to happen is it's going to start to bleed all by itself, and then it'll keep bleeding for a long time. And I'm also confident that I finally reached the edge where I can get some sort of control over this thing. Yeah, it looks like it's bleeding, so I just keep up the bleeding process. Stay close to the coat. And like I said, the nerve's right there, so I have to be careful about this nerve. See, just to give you an idea, here's a few, there's a few pieces of significance there. Like I said, I'm real confident, but there's no guarantee. And then see, it's kind of bloody. Some decent sized pieces are coming out. And then what happens is the blood starts this process. It sort of dilates. That opens it up. And that's actually a temporary phenomenon. It doesn't last that long, but if it starts to bleed and then it keeps bleeding, then the blood, the blood keeps the process going. So you've got a real good chance of making a score. Okay, so what's happening now is it's opening up, so I'm basically going down real deep. I managed to get some of these things that were blocking the way, I managed to get them to come loose. There's nothing wrong with these, these Gracies, really. I used them a lot before. Okay, so what happened is it opened up, I'm now deep. But it's not like going crazy. Okay. And then, you know, it doesn't seem like there's a lot left. But that's okay. Here's some more of these pieces. This is the Gracie Micro Mini 1, too. This is a good choice. It's got good textural feel. It's very thin, so it slips in nicely. These are all very open. So whatever I said before about just sort of playing around with it. Well, now I'm doing it more seriously. I say there's abscess down there. Well, let's find out. It's becoming more definitive of what's going on. Because I don't know the answer. I'm just going to keep going until it's clean. You okay, know, I definitely want to check and see how sturdy this thing is. Huh, seems pretty sturdy. Okay, so now, same thing. I'm just coming along. This is a straight Micro Mini Gracie 1, 2. It's nice and straight, very narrow. I can go in very deep. You know, more or less, I'm just saying, get this line clean. I'm testing the notion whether it actually did bleed out or not. If it wants to bleed out, I'm certainly making it more able to do so. I'm going to get to this corner, which is where I should back here, here, right here. What is this? Let's get in there and find out. Okay, this is actually the inside corner. So now I want to stay away from the second molar because it's loose. This is this where I can switch to the 11 or 12? And this is also very likely when I knock something loose, it's just going to keep bleeding. Okay, I'm also getting fairly brutal with a Gracie, which is you know not a instrument known for its brutality, but you can get a little brutal with it. So here's some more stuff. No real great pieces that I see, but it's significant. And also, I'm just working this corner. And I, I don't see anything wrong with this. This is sort of a slow process with this Gracie. It does go in deep. I'm in contact with what I have in mind. So, it's powerful. It's looking into places that the Langer might not slip in so well. Okay, real good. Real good. Now, 
what I can do is switch to the one two. It's got the right brutality. You know, it doesn't look like there's any drama yet. Nothing wrong with the Langer. Going around this corner. I can go back to the micro mini to get some depth. Anyway, so here's a little bit more. It's sure hard to say where. But, you know, there's definitely more. Like I said, the goal is to get down to this presumed abscess. Now you're going to bleed and bleed. That's the goal. It's going to be down here real low. What's going on here? Okay, so it's going to a deep area. It's kind of where it is. This is presumably where the abscess actually is, right here. What happened is I got in deep. I'm somewhere. There's a little confusion where I am or what's going on. There we go. Looks like this is it. Okay. This is the abscess right here. I don't want to screw up. There it is. Okay, right there. So what happened is I put the carrot in. And then somewhere here, it just slipped right in to a deeper area. You know, I don't know exactly where the deeper area is, really. But it's starting to bleed. Do I need to figure out why it's bleeding? Is that really necessary? Exactly where? I would argue that it's not necessary. So what I do now is I just hang out. I don't try to reproduce my experience. What I do is I just agitate until I can twist it. Now also consider that I've gone into a deep area where I could be next to the nerve too. So I don't want to get too abrupt. I don't want to lose the place. Probably not that hard, really. I can probably easily find the place again. But if I were to try, and then for some reason just couldn't find it again, that would sort of glow. Okay, and then I want to try to move forward. Well, whatever. It seems most of the carrots in there. I don't have a drain. So if I have to hang out for a while. See, I don't have any magic answers here. All I know is that this is abscess. There's nothing particularly wrong with this langer. It doesn't have any start points. I can attempt to bring it forward. Still on the wisdom tooth. Still some blood, but not massive amounts. Whether it's clear or not, it's actually hard to say. Maybe it's not always necessarily clear. It could just be I'm confused in a different way.